Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 17th of uh, May 2021. And we have a number of very interesting news this week. And as always, we start off with Scotland. Um, there is a new blend from Glen Allaki. I think I've already reported about that, but uh, now it is a definite. We have the new White Heather 21. It is the first limited brand from Glen Allaki. It's a blend between malt and grain whiskey and comes with a high percentage of uh, vintage malts from Glen Allaki. It was matured in first fill and second fill bourbon cask and first fill and second fill sherry cask. 46% ABV, no coloring, no chill filtration, and it is limited to 2000 bottles, so it will be probably sold out in the first year. Then we have uh, the personal change. I've already talked about Brandon McKinnon being the new master distiller of the Distill Group and coming from Glen Morangy, but now it is definite. He is coming to the Distill Group and he will lead Bona Heaven, Deanston, Tobomori, so as well as the brands of Scottish Leader and Black Bottle. Black Bottle, international brand, pretty much everybody in the whiskey industry knows it, but uh, Scottish Leader, I've actually not heard of it, probably a UK only brand. Then we have the Big Peach coming out with a new bottle and it's called the Pietrijo or something else like that. Pietrijo. Pietrijo? And that word Pietrijo means it describes the earthy smell that you smell when yeah, the rain hits the ground or hits the mud. And yeah, there's a distinct smell for that, and they have a word for that. And that because of that, we have the peat, uh, big peat man in a yellow raincoat. It's limited to 5,000 bottles, and it is 53.8% ABV. Then we have a new Talisker coming to the market. It's a made by the sea Talisker, 43 years old, Expedition Oak. And it's all about this expedition oak. <clears throat> the single vault was uh, finished in casks with um, staves that were transported during the Whiskey Atlantic Challenge. So these staves actually they were transported by a sail ship uh, were sailing over the Atlantic to America. And then they were reassembled and uh, in these casks they were whiskey finished. And it is limited to 1,830 bottles with 49.7% ABV. And I guess this bottling will be also very expensive. Then we have news from Lagavulin, a new bottling from Lagavulin. Everybody excited? It's the Lagavulin Offerman edition. Oh, we've already talked about that a few weeks ago. Guinness cask finish. And unfortunately, there's some bad news. It's only coming out in the United States. So all of you international viewers, it's going to be really, really, really hard to get. It's an 11 year old Lagavulin. In the last four months, it was finished in Guinness casks. No. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have I'm gonna be able to try this bottle. Then we have a bit of a rebranding in the Edrington group. The Naked Grouse, it's I think one bottling uh, is gonna be called now the Naked Malt. The packaging will be new, 100% recyclable, and yeah, there will be a new name, new label. Um, but the, the recipe for the liquid inside will be the same. And then we go south to uh, England. England will have a new distillery and it will be a, yeah, a really environmentally friendly distillery. The Wiltshire Whiskey Distillery is being planned. They want to start building in the fourth quarter of 2021 in the south of England in Berwick. And they want to actually start distilling at the beginning of 2022. And they want to be carbon neutral. And even in the upcoming years, they want to go into a carbon negative area. Let's call it that way. Um, then we have a new distillery opening. 
Pandaren is opening their new 5 million pound distillery in North Wales. I've already talked about this a couple of times, how they planned it and licensing and all that kind of stuff. And now they finally got their new Faraday still and they are having their first peated malt there. And on the 17th of May, they are finally starting to produce the new spirit at this new distillery of the, yeah, the Landudno distillery. So I'm not quite sure of a butchered name there, but it's a really hard Welsh name. Then we come to Ireland. Dingle is presenting their first standard bottling and it's a triple distilled single malt, 61% sherry cask, 39% First fill X bourbon casks, 46.3% ABV without chill filtration and without coloring. Yeah, then we go over to the United States and Heaven Hill is unveiling their first bourbon from the Evan Williams Bourbon Experience Distillery. 2013, they opened up a new distillery in the inner city of Louisville. Yeah, you Louisville used to be a city with a lot of distilleries until it all went downwards, I think, with the um, prohibition. And now they reopened the distillery and they have their first whiskey on hand. And they waited quite a long time since 2013. And the first bourbon is called Square Six. It's uh, from 52% corn, 35% uh, rye and 13% malted barley. It's a five-year-old bourbon and it was made with 50, uh, 95 proof. Uh, unfortunately, it's very, very limited and just um, sold at the distillery. But hopefully we will find more of that stuff coming to the market. But as it is an urban distillery, these tend to be smaller. I've not been there. I don't know how big it is. So don't expect too much to hit the market. Yeah, that was it for this week. Thank you very much to, for watching and see you next time.